Oh, wow. So now it's expected. It's a building belief that the Baltimore Ravens are going to be trading for Derrick Henry. Nothing's official yet, but that's what's been going on around the league, according to Tony Pauline, who wrote this article for Sports Kita. And he's somebody that's been covering the NFL for a while. He covers the NFL draft. He's an NFL insider. Uh, he's been in the business for a hot minute. Uh, but this almost makes me feel like this could lead to heartbreak for a lot of Baltimore Ravens fans. reason I say that is because uh, when, when Baltimore Ravens make a significant move, whether it be a significant trade or signing, usually, not every time, but usually it's something that we don't really hear about too often. And it comes out of nowhere. And we're like, oh, man, I, I like the move, uh, but I didn't even hear that the Ravens were doing that. But with this Derrick Henry to the Ravens piece, this news, this speculation, whatever you want to call it, We've been hearing more and more and more about it. So that almost makes me feel less and less and less that it's likely to happen. But, hey, we won't know till we know uh, and we'll know in less than five days. Now, going to the article uh, from Sports Kita that Tony Pauline wrote. Uh, and let's just get down to the good part. It says several teams have been thrown out as potential suitors for Derrick Henry, including Miami Dolphins and the Baltimore Ravens, as well as one sleeper team that I'm hearing about. While it's all speculation at this point, this is what league insiders tell me. So here we go. Wow. Derrick Henry to the Miami Dolphins has built steam on the internet. Most inside the league don't believe this is a trade that will happen. As several people told me, Henry is not a good fit for the Miami Dolphins, and it would be a system disconnect for the offensive scheme head coach Mike McDaniel runs. Henry is not a zone runner, and his pass catching ability has really deteriorated both skills required for the Dolphins offense. Oof. So how good of a fit would he be with the Baltimore Ravens? Because, well, like Justice Hill, running backs like Justice Hill, Keith Mitchell, those are better fits than Gus Edwards or Derrick Henry. Now, even though they're better fits, that don't mean that other running backs can't get the job done. We've seen Gus Edwards. We've seen what he can do. And Derrick Henry, I mean, <laughs> regardless of whether it's the best fit or not, it's still Derrick Henry. The man can still play. So... Anyway, let's continue with the article because this this is the next part that really got me. It says um, there is a building belief that Henry could end up in Baltimore. The Ravens number one back is Gus Edwards, a serviceable former undrafted free agent who was once again thrust into the starting role after J.K. Dobbins was lost for the season after tearing his Achilles in week one. You know what's so crazy? A lot of times I forget and it's no disrespect to him, of course, but it feels like it's been so long. I forget that we even had J.K. Dobbins for part of week one. It seems like that was so long ago, and it sucks because we, we weren't even supposed to be having this conversation about trading for a running back. We're not even supposed to be talking about this because we're supposed to be like, hey, we got J.K. Dobbins, Gus Edwards, Justice Hill, Key and Mitchell. We got Melvin Gordon on the practice squad. We straight. That's supposed to be what the conversation is, but unfortunately due to injuries, well, you know the rest of the story. Uh, anyway, continuing, uh, it says... Uh, after a promising rookie campaign, J.K. Dobbins tore his ACL of August of 2021 and missed the entire year. The belief, now here goes, here goes the kicker right here. And see, this, this makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, it says, the belief is that Baltimore will explore trades for other backs on the market. And if a more athletic, versatile runner becomes available for a reasonable price, they'd prefer to look in that direction. So, it's like with Tony Pauline, it's like, hey, yeah, the Ravens, they want Derrick Henry. They like Derrick Henry. They love Derrick Henry. But to an extent, to a certain price, uh, to a certain ability, to his certain abilities. Uh, so according to him, he's like, hey, Derrick Henry would be nice. Ravens like Derrick Henry, but they are still keeping their options open. And that just confirms every, everything that we were saying yesterday uh, when this news first came out about the Ravens being interested and being seriously interested and Derrick Henry, um, because it makes sense that they will want to upgrade the running back room. Uh, there's a lot of uncertainty there. And I remember in, in the video that we did yesterday about Derrick Henry, somebody put in the comment section. They were like, oh, man, if the Baltimore Ravens trade for Derrick Henry, that will be a slap in the face to Gus Edwards. And hey, look, um, I get it. I, I completely get that. I understand that. But when you look at it for years and. Ain't no other way to put this, man. And it, I, I did not. I don't agree with it, but it is what it is at this point. And ain't, ain't no other way to say it. But the Ravens have been slapping Gus Edwards in the face for years, for years. And the reason I say that is because 
he could have been the number one back. He he came he came through with Lamar. Gus Edwards has been here since Lamar Jackson got 2018, baby. Gus Edwards been around for that, and it's crazy how time flies, don't it? Don't it? It's like we don't watch Gus Edwards grow up from this young boy to a man now. He done got his second contract and whatnot, but he been around since then. And if they ain't giving him the opportunity to be the number one back by now, since 2018, after five, six years, then it ain't never going to happen, man. It, it's never going to happen. And yet, he was an undrafted rookie free agent, so I wouldn't have expected them to be like, all right, undrafted rookie free agent, you're going to be the running back now. You're going to be our number one guy. No, we wouldn't expect that. But year after year after year after year with Gus showing you what he can do, and you still haven't made him the number one back. And, I mean, now this year, he's been sort of a starter, but it's really like him and Justice Hill, they really share that workload a lot. And they complement each other nicely, but Ravens don't really have a clear-cut, established number one back. Uh, now, do they need one? Mm, it depends on how you look at things. Uh, some people could look at it like, all right, hey, yeah, Ravens, they need that clear-cut guy, that guy that could take over from start to finish, and he can be that guy. Of course, they have backups and whatnot. He'll come off for a rest, but they need that bell cow back. And then there's other people that say, hey, no, we, we could still continue to use multiple backs. Uh, we could have a, a downhill runner. Then we could have the, 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 the shifty running back, the pass catcher out of the backfield and whatnot. Hey, the more the merrier. You keep guys fresh. You keep guys healthy. You keep guys on a rotation. And there's other people who be like, well, you want to stick with the hot hand. If somebody's going off, you want to let them and make them keep going off. You want to give them every single opportunity in the world for them to continue to go off against an opposing defense. So it's so many different ways that you can look at it. But this article right here got me looking at this whole Derrick Henry scenario uh, in a different way, in a different light, only because it's getting so much attention. It's getting a lot of attention. Now, um, apparently Derrick Henry is getting even more attention from another team, too, because it says the sleeper team expected to be in the market for Derrick Henry are none other than the Dallas Cowboys. Says the belief for many is that Henry could end up in the NFC East with the Cowboys if Tennessee is willing to eat some of the money remaining on Derrick Henry's contract, estimated to be around $9 million. Said the Cowboys have Tony Pollard at the top of the depth chart, a player that they franchised after Ezekiel, uh, releasing Ezekiel Elliott in March. And Henry's power running style is viewed as the perfect complement to Pollard's big playability as a ball carrier and pass catcher. See, yeah, see that's, that's it right there. And that, right, that part right there really makes you wonder. It really makes you wonder. But at the same time, are the Ravens going to do like two big power backs with, with, with Henry and Gus Edwards along with two smaller but shiftier, faster backs with Justice Hill and Keaton Mitchell? Who knows? Hey, we'll see. We'll see. Because, I mean, the, I mean, the more the merrier, right? And there'll be even more quality at the running back position. So you can't go wrong with more quality depth, right? No, you can't. Of course not. And... Shout out to Keaton Mitchell for returning to practice, by the way. They said he was limited. He was limited, so he's probably still ain't going to play in this game. But that is a beautiful sign for next week. And, and we'll see how this whole running back situation shakes itself out next week because, well, yeah, you get it. Um, but anyway, and, and Roquan Smith, too. Hey, Roquan Smith on track to play this Sunday after having that little scare they gave us yesterday about he was his shoulder was injured. Ugh, glad that's in the past. But anyway, um, it's just – to me, I, I it's not looking like it's going to happen. But that's just me. I, I want to hear what y'all think. Let, let, let me know what y'all think in the comment section. If you think this whole Derrick Henry to the Baltimore Ravens thing is for sure, it's going down, it is imminent, it's going to happen, you let me know. Or if you think like me and it's not really looking like it, especially because everybody just talking, 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 talking about it, then those things just usually don't happen with the Baltimore Ravens. But I look forward to hearing from y'all in the comment section. I love y'all. Make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any news on the Baltimore Ravens, videos like these, and plenty of others. I love you. I appreciate you. And like Derrick Henry will probably soon be when it comes to being with the Tennessee Titans, we out.